video today. Today we'll be doing something really cool, really awesome. But before we get into that, let me tell you a little bit about what I do during the week. So during the week, I have one-on-one -on -one candle coaching sessions with people just like you. Listen, you could be a beginner, you could be advanced, you could be just a lost person trying to be found. And I'm here to help you come on in. Come on in back into the sheep fold. Yes. Listen, I have people that I talk to every day, and you just you could just imagine the mo the main problem is wicks. And I remember when I was coming in, I thought one wick was all wicks. I thought if I just buy one of these little bags, it's gonna work for every single candle that I had. You know, and, and I did not know it was a difference between okay, so you don't use this type of wick for this type of wax, use this type of wick for that type of wax. I did not know any of that. All I know is I just kept seeing black smoke everywhere. Every time I light a candle, it was just this black smoke coming off the flame. The flame was just going like this, like it was just, it was just all over the place. So I'm trying to get you from, you know, out of that place where you all over the place. So go ahead and go in the description box, book your candle coaching session. Guys, listen, when you catch somebody in the beginning of what they're doing and they're charging low prices, that's when you want to hop on the train. Don't wait till that person got four point something, something million views or something like that, or they got uh, 300,000, 400,000 subscribers, and then you paying $300 a coaching session. Like you want to be like, well, I caught Diamond back in the day, honey, when I first started, and she was real low. Cause believe me, when I'm subscribers start coming and I start getting that busy, I'm gonna charge a little bit more. I'm just being real, okay? This is business, nothing personal. <laughs> Don't take it personal. But anyway, guys, let me tell you about what we're doing today. Ha! So look, I got these cute little, oh my God, I know, I know. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, look at them, y'all. Look at them, y'all. I got these cute little pots. Oh, my God. These are so cute. Like, seriously, I got them in different colors. Um... And so they're about maybe five. They hold about five ounces of wax. So I'm about to use them. I am double wicking them. Guys, like some of the stuff I do tell you guys where to buy it from. But because I'm starting to get a lot of people in the groups and a lot of people coming to me on YouTube, I do have to limit my suppliers when they come down to certain things. Because when I gave out something one time, y'all shut the business down. Like I remember just doing a video, giving out the mold information, and I was never able to buy <laughs> A mode again and that lady went out of business like and so mm -hmm. so this is going to be on my vendors list and that's another thing I do I, I have a vendors list where I share with people I sell fragrance so guys if I'm selling it you know I'm getting it cheaper all right so we're gonna do this we're gonna double wick these um, you can find these on Amazon you can definitely find them on Amazon they're a little bit more pricier than what I paid so you know I feel like Master P. I got the hookup. I got the hookup. Uh, I got the hookup. Okay. All right. All right. So, and then another thing is this, y'all. This is getting ready to be some old um, diamond shine. Make it happen type of situation. So, the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm going to make a sweet potato pie fragrance today. I'm not going to buy a sweet potato pie. So, let me tell you. I don't have sweet potato pie out of all of the hundreds of... Maybe I do have sweet potato pie. But I have so much fragrance. Like, this roll is filled up. All this, all that. That's fine. I can look through this. But when it comes down to looking through this, looking through that, looking through this over here, looking through that right here under me, then I got a whole shelf over here, then I got a whole nother shelf over there, then I got some sh a shelf over here, then I got another shelf of fragrance over there... I don't feel like that today. So, you know, it's a blessing to have so much fragrance. I, you know, I thank God for my blessings every day. But sometimes when you got to do all of that looking and, and going through each bottle, I don't feel like that today. So I found this right here because it was easy for me to access. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to make it today. And you know what? I think it's a good idea because this will teach you guys how to mix fragrance. Mm -hmm. So... We're making sweet potato pie. This is candle science, um, sh shrewdel and spice. This is, yeah, shrewdel and spice. I'm using fragrance buddy, vanilla ice cream. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes! I am using bourbon pumpkin, okay? So it's like pumpkin with a little bit of, ooh, she is sexy. Ah! 
So it's bourbon pumpkin. Um, <laughs> and so another one I'm going to be using, this is from Just Scent, but this is not going with that. That's all I'm using to make a sweet potato pie fragrance. I'm mixing all those together and that's going to make a lovely fragrance. But this is going to be for our next, our blackberry uh, berry uh, candle. You know, I, I got to get the name of the thing, but I'm using blackberry pie for that. And so I found this little thing and I don't even know where this came from. I was just like, oh, well, I could use it. I'm making a Cinnabon one. So this is a uh, Candle Science Cinnabon. So I'm like, might as well just use this little thing. I honestly don't even know where this came from. So, uh, all right. So look, we got all of that. I have some marshmallow in beds and I can definitely post a link to that mold. There's a new young lady that makes molds and I found her on eBay. So she definitely... Uh, I mean, she's always well stocked on eBay. And one thing I can say about eBay, people ship things out pretty quick. So I'll post that in the description box. I do like that because you got people on SD that's taking a very merry time. You got people on Flexi Mode who just waiting. People been waiting a month just to get their order. And um, the only person left I can think of is Vanille and um, 2 millimeter Handcraft. And they don't take long, but I'm just... Mm -mm. eBay, I mean, the person that was on there, they shipped the same day. So that's the type of business I like to do. I like people that's going to ship right then and there. So this is my little Cinnabon that I'm going to put on top. Yes, I'm going to put some icing on it or whatever. I got that. I got some berries. I got blackberries and cherries. So, you know, I use that blackberry pie fragrance. I got some blackberry fragrance or whatever. So I could use that too. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We just going to make it smell good. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, okay? All right. And so for the marshmallows, I use a toasted marshmallow fragrance from Fragrance Buddy. And I know y'all thinking like, oh my God, girl, you just using all this fragrance. What is going on? Like... What are you doing? Making it smell good. I'm making it smell good. All right. So let's get on into it. I don't know if y'all hype, but I'm, I'm hype. All right. So let's do it. All right. Uh okay. So what we're about to do is I'm about to mix some fragrance with you guys because... You guys need to know how to mix fragrance, how to make your fragrance. This is getting ready to be sweet potato pie that I am making. And this is just because I have so much darn fragrance that... So just basically tear your scale, scale out when you put it on there, you know, when you put your... Tear it out to zero. So I'm using 9%. I usually use 8.9%, but I'm using 9% because I'm going to need a little bit more than what I would normally use. So I'm going to take this and the first thing I'm going to put in here is vanilla because vanilla is definitely something that's inside of. If you ever had a sweet potato pie, you know it has vanilla extract. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm spilling it. Honey, I don't like wasting nothing. Okay. Um, ain't enough. Okay. All right. So I used a little bit of vanilla. I'm making 0. 0.5. So it's not going to be a whole, whole lot because I'm only making one uh, five ounce batch of wax. So the next one I'm going to use is bourbon pumpkin so now because i'm going to use more bourbon because you want it to smell like sweet potato so you want more of the pumpkin pumpkin -y smell you want to use more of that than everything else because that's the that's going to be the loudest so if it's 0.5 i want to use 0.2 of the pumpkin and then you want to use 0.3 of the crusty you know that kind of smell it gives like a little crust smell all of it together comes out to be sweet potato all right so I'm gonna wait okay all right so now I'm gonna add this all right so that's it okay so now you just kind of you know you get something you mix it together to make sure it smell and then you know 
smelled a little bit. I smelled it a little bit. Mine smells just like sweet potato. So that's how you mix fragrance. Like make sure that you put more of what you want it to smell like than the other ones. But mainly a lot of my fragrances, when it comes down to food fragrances, they all have vanilla in it because the vanilla is what really smell good. So guys, the pans are, as you can see, the pots are double wicked already and they are ready for war okay we are going to get started now this one I'm going to be using some blueberries raspberries and blackberries these are my last little bit of uh, Sabrina these are her blackberries and they are beautiful and they smell so amazing so if you're in the Facebook group go ahead and hit her up she sells the embeds and the crumble and the pie kits and things as well. I mean, she pretty much has everything from bananas to pies. And y'all better go ahead and order now because I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all not going to be able to get this stuff around the holiday because there's no such thing as getting a pie mode really quick right now unless you go through uh, certain people. And I did put most of those people on my vendor list. Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to load this candle up. Just a little bit. These blackberries smell amazing. I always talk about them when I use them in my videos. <laughs> I just can't get over how good they smell. I'm just going to use like two. I'm gonna use like two blackberries. Now the rest of it I'm going to load it up with like some raspberry. Little tiny raspberries. And this is going to be really cute. And like I told you guys before. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I will not be giving out the vendor for this these particular pots because it's unfair that when I do give out the vendors, like some people don't get a chance to get any, so I kind of limit some things and you know put it on a list to where though I can control how much. Because if I give out the vendor, guess what? None of us will have any. Because <laughs> sometimes these videos, like my last, uh, what was it, the strawberry shortcake. And pet, I mean, no, it was strawberry shortcake. That thing had 9,000, almost 10,000 views. The last one I did with the other embeds, and the lady had to shut her shop down, that was about 4,000 views. So, I, you know, it just depends. You know, you never know what kind of views you're going to get on the video. And I really don't want to, you know, cut my own foot. And I go to order some because, you know, once I put it on my website, I won't be able to get any. So. Alright, so I'm just pretty much just putting these berries in here and making it look as cute as I can. And while you're doing that, you should be warming up your gel wax because I'm going to be using like a burgundy. I, I use red and I put a little black in it to make it like a dark, bloody color. And I'm going to add like another blackberry right over here. Yep, right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my gel when it act like it wants to be loved. I'm going to take my gel and I'm going to go ahead and put it on a spoon and we're going to pour some gel on top of that to bring it to life. And that's just pretty much what we're doing with that candle. It's not too much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and this is the spoon that I use to pour my gel, guys. So if you got one of these little soup spoons, you could use these. I'm going to go ahead and take it and transfer it from the pot to well, the Presto pot to this pot. I'm going to transfer it. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead and just pour from this side. You're going to pour from this side. Making sure that it's pretty hot when you're pouring. Just go ahead and pour. I didn't really want it to hit the embeds. But I guess I can, you know, make it work. Just pour it. Yeah, that's what I really wanted. I really wanted to just come from the sides like that. You can actually take one thing about gel. Once it dry, you can just take it apart. You can take all of this up. And like if you did something and you messed it up. Once gel solidifies, like what I'm going to do is I'm taking a glove. Because I like to show y'all my bloopers too when I mess up. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to move my blackberry because ain't nothing going to destroy my blackberry, okay? But you see how the gel is just like really jelly. <laughs> you can just pull this all up and it'll all come out and it's not even messy. You know, like I'm just going to pull it out like that. And I'm going to go from the sides because I don't want to 
have it like on my embeds. Like I need my embeds to show. I need them to be cute. Probably would want to just sit them on there. So let me try this real quick. I'm just going to lay a little bit here. Because if I could sit them on there, it could become like a glue too as well. So, alright. So here go embed number one. Yeah, that'll be good. Embed number two. Go ahead and just put your embeds on there. I'm trying to move as quick as possible because I don't want it to, you know, I'm going to clean that off right there. And if your gel start getting hard, just hit it with the heat gun. It will be all right. I'm going to take that gel out. I'm gonna pull that out. This is what I have to do when I mess up. I have to fix it, okay? And I ain't about to throw nothing away. Somebody told me one time, they thought I just be, honey, I throw it away. I'm like, oh no, no way. So you fix it, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this gel juice, <laughs> jelly juice, pour a little bit more in here. Pour that jelly juice on in there. That's how we're going to do it. We're just going to pour it and then we're going to lay it. So, find you some cute raspberries. Make sure you're sitting them up because they are on display. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start adding some black ones, blueberries. I just love these. Yes, I'm in love. Okay. I'm just going to add some more. Because one thing we know how to do, we know how to make this wick sit us behind up in this place. Okay? We got time for you, Mr. Wick, acting crazy. I just add it all over as much as you can. I'm going to add some more gel right there in that hole. Make sure you keep your gel on warm so it don't catch on fire. You know, don't just let it be cold while you're doing this. I mean, don't let it be hot while you're doing this. Like, make sure you have your temperature adjusted. That's me. I'm gonna make sure that stuff is safe because I don't got time for that, honey. Okay. So I had to add a little bit more gel because what I noticed is. See, sometimes y'all, most of the time I learn as I go. And I be teaching y'all as I go. So, this is going to serve as our glue to keep our embeds in place. But this is pretty much done. If you want to add another blackberry, you can. But I'm cool with two. And I like it like that. Didn't want to have too, too much going on. But I'm going to add a little bit more gel coming off the side right here. Yeah, I just need a little bit more spillage, but I want to make sure I show the white in the middle. So what you do now is once it's solidified and it's all, you know, gel and everything, you go ahead and just take it and clean it up and it's done. And you're going to take your little pretty pictures. Make sure you have it nice and clean for your pictures. And that's it. All right. So we got one more video coming up on the channel and that is the Cinnabon one. And I'm going to go ahead and do that one. All right.